upon write that legal action as amendment for this one take me a moment Good afternoon. We're going to call the, call the meeting of the Historic Preservation Commission to order now. This is the meeting of June 27, 2023, and the meeting is being called to order at 6 p.m. First, we're going to have our roll call. We're going to go around the room. I'm going to ask each of the members to introduce themselves while speaking into the microphone. I'm Laura Powell. I'm Elizabeth Jones, the chair. Faye Brassey. Absent, we have Jane Camp and Mark Hummus. Next, I'm going to ask the city staff to introduce themselves. Brad Callender, Planning and Zoning Director. Laura Wilson, Code Administration. Okay, next on the ag agenda, we have um, an approval of the agenda. Madam Chair, if, can I speak? Yes. I, uh, we have had a request to move 700 South Broad Street to the first item on the agenda under new business. Okay, do we need to make a motion for that? Yes. Okay, do I have a motion? I move that we move it, so move. Okay, do I have a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, motion granted unanimously. Okay, do I have an, a motion to approve the agenda as submitted? Or is everybody ha oh, okay, I'm going to ask first. Has everybody had a chance to look at that? Yeah. The agenda okay. that you just and I, I have a motion? Change I'll motion. Made. Do I have a second? What's the change you made? All right, What's we the changes it? you made? I'm sorry. So it's a motion to approve the agenda with the current changes? Yes. With changes. A motion to approve the agenda with the changes? Yes. I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Motion carried. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to ask, too, that, that all the members will show approval with a raise of the hand and a vocalization at the, in the, into the microphone tonight. Um, next order of business is going to be um, an approval of the minutes from the previous meeting. Now, I thought we were skipping that and doing the 700... They just want to be the first in the business. And the first in the new business. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Okay. It's okay. Has everybody had a chance to look at the minutes from the previous meeting? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve those minutes? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Minutes so approved. Next on the agenda, we have old business um, request for COA 130 South Broad Street, exterior changes. Yes, um, so 130 South Broad Street is in the Monroe Commercial Historic District. And uh, as you're aware, because this has been before you a couple of times, uh, the applicant is requesting exterior changes to the facade um, including um, a new sign, it's becoming Sweetberry Restaurant, and um, changing the door. And then they were also wanting to uh, do something with the, the transom right here, which I believe is the only item outstanding on their request. Um, is there anybody here to speak on this application? Okay, if you would like, uh, please come to the podium and introduce yourself. Thank you. My name is Jessica Head, and I'm here for Gilbert Lucero, the owner of Sweetberry. I'll be his general manager. Um, pull it towards you. Pull, you. pull it towards me? Okay. Well, Sorry. If you get too close, it muffles yeah. it. Actually, it becomes inaudible, <laughs> so don't, not too close. Um, from my understanding, he just wants to get rid of, like, that window atop, on top of the door, I believe. Like, he wants to replace that. Yes. I don't really know. <laughs> That's all I was told. Yeah. Is there, do I need to expand on that or? Do you know what he wants to replace it with? Is it, does he? I, I believe it's going to be another window. He just wants to change it. 
That is a little vague. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't, <laughs> he didn't tell me I would need to speak or anything, so um, I wasn't sure what exactly he needed me to tell you guys. I would like to know what it's being replaced with, wouldn't you? Yeah. I think that was why it was tabled in the first place, if I'm not mistaken. And what do you say? Yes, we, we needed a little bit more information on the on the on what was being done. Um, speaking on for myself, I would like to know what it's being replaced with, like what what's going in there. I mean, I, I would I could assume it's going to be another window, but I, I don't want to make an assumption. Um, how do y'all feel? I mean, can you call them and talk to them and yeah. come back to us later? I can absolutely. Is that possible? Because they've already been tabled once. I, you know, because I, no, I, 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 that's not appropriate to do okay, it that's in, in meetings because we have other business items. So I would suggest either tabling it again so they come up with an idea of what they're doing with the transom because the reason that it was tabled was because of the transom. And if there's no plan for that, then I don't, I, I, I don't think it's appropriate to, to delay the, the folks that are waiting for their, for their item to get on the phone call. That's just not appropriate. Yeah. Okay, I will let him know. So thank you, guys. <laughs> so how would y'all? Well, let's let's see. How do we? How do? How would we want to proceed, Laura? I mean, you can either table it or just deny it. Since you've approved everything else on the request, you could deny this piece, and he would have to resubmit a new application. Okay. Before we make a motion, I, I want to ask y'all: Do you have any further questions? It's done, right? Everything else. Right. What, we're not doing the door, the signage. That's already approved. Already, okay. Okay. Do you have any, did you have any further questions before we were making a motion? Do I have any questions from the public? Okay. Do I have a motion? Okay, we're just doing the transom. All right, what we'd like to do is to have uh, that in detail so we know what the material is and how, what it's going to be like, right? Mm -hmm. we're, uh, so I move that we... Do, Table it, or he comes back. Which do we want to do? So the the phrasing would be if you would like to table it until the July twenty fifth meeting. Um, I mean, I that's the only issue. I hate to table it that long, but here's a suggestion. Okay, just uh, just because I, I, it's a transom, so we're right, not talking about. That's it. Uh, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. If you want to take the opportunity, I think, to have her go and make her a phone call and get with the other party, you know, and then we can move on with the other business items, and then maybe she could come back at the end of the meeting. Uh, I know we've already approved the agenda, but I don't think it's out of... I think that's... I don't think it's inappropriate that the, that the commission okay. give her an opportunity to go and have that conversation without waiting 30 days. Why, why don't you do that and then come back at the end of this meeting and, and see if you can make that phone call, resolve it, and then we'll just move... Your, you to the end of the meeting. We'll do old business after the new business. How about that? Okay, that sounds great. Sounds good. And, and we, what we need is what it's going to be like. What kind of material? And yeah. the he, should, he should know all of that. So. Be, the window, it, the glass is going to be clear. You know, what he has in mind. Okay, great. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to new business. Um, let's see. First, we're gonna, we had first on the agenda. I'm skipping around here, so bear with me. Let's see. If you'll bear with me, they were all the way at the end. Duh. 700 South Broad Street. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Thanks, and I do appreciate you guys moving that over. Uh, and so do we have, you guys have the original package that I submitted, correct? Yes, they do. Thank you. Very similar, just an additional five feet. Thank you. My name is Wes Peters. And so um, the property, 700 South Broad Street, uh, the property is located um, just down Broad Street uh, at the corner of Broad and 2nd Street, uh, just inside the Main Street Wall project uh, there, uh, as you can see on the Google Maps that I have uh, on the table there. And our uh, plan for the site is uh, basically just to update the facade of the building. Um, it's been, it's, you know, very dated. Uh, currently, it's occupied by uh, Jeff Coates Barbershop there on the left side. Uh, that's been there for a number of years. Um, but as you can see, it's just uh, got the old awnings on it. Uh, the brick itself just, just looks bad, just needs a really good cleaning. Uh, and our intent is just to update it overall facade. 
Uh, this is just more of the existing pictures. Uh, as you can see along that front curbing too, uh, you know, the sidewalk, and then there's a step up to the actual building itself. Uh, we do plan to uh, square that uh, step up uh, along uh, the front of the building up and add a, a rail of some site and I have of some type and I have some examples uh, in just a bit for that because uh, that, that step is probably about 12 to 18 inches. Uh, so really kind of a hazard there per se. Uh, you've got the front of the building there, you've got the uh, left side, another uh, angle of the front of the building, the rear, um, and essentially no, the sides and the back will remain the same, uh, ultimately just cleaned up, freshened up. Uh, as I mentioned, our plan is just to really uh, clean up the existing historic brick that's there. Uh, you know, worst case scenario, if uh, it doesn't clean up as we expect it to, it really looks the worst on the front. Um, you know, we, we may uh, decide to paint it. Uh, it just kind of depends on how that cleans, cleans up. Uh, and Elizabeth, uh, Laura did send me uh, the briefing that you sent on historic uh, care of, you know, brick. And so I'll read through that, see what we can do. But our intent is to keep it that way unless for some reason it doesn't clean up as well as we, you know, want it to. The uh, awnings, um, so we plan to... You see the current awnings uh, that are on the building, um, just old aluminum type, been there for, you know, goodness, maybe since the building was in existence, I'm not real sure when those were replaced. It, they could be uh, secondary type, but uh, our plan is to go back with a new, more modern look, uh, the iron uh, black awning that kind of squares off and extends out above the uh, windows. I think we have a few of these downtown currently. Um, Maybe not this exact nature, but of some shape, maybe even a curvature of some sort. But I think this will just add a uh, just updated look to the building over each of the windows. And uh, as I mentioned, that railing that we would like to put out uh, where that uh, step up to the building is, is some type of railing like this. We don't have anything picked out specific um, at the current time, but something of this nature and this look we think will look really good for the building along and tie in with those awnings. So at the end of the day, this is the proposed update. Uh, you'll see the um, awnings there, the railing um, on the front side, and just a much more updated, fresh, fresh look. And then last, last picture there is just a, a comparison, showing how it is today and with the updated look. Yes, ma'am. I think my, my main concern would be the the just the, the thought uh, just the, the some of the terminology when you when you talked about pressure washing the historic brick that made me really nervous that's why I sent you that preservation brief I mean I do think that you can clean historic brick with water and and you know it just depends on how strongly you wash it and yeah, and the chemicals the types of you know the types of chemicals that you were if you use those there there are appropriate things that you could use uh, you have to be really careful with historic brick and start and on the back i, I right, you yeah. need to be really it on the back you just really need to be careful to avoid damaging it and i, I would also I, I would not be really happy with with paint on historic brick like that i would just that would uh, uh, did you want to elaborate more on your recent training about that? Well, there was, we just were trained recently that painting this type of brick, especially this age, could be problematic for you. It's it it, it could seal the water in there, right. and what what happens is when you do that, it can it can't breathe, and so that moisture, it's going to it's going to deteriorate the the building itself and the foundation, it, and it it causes it, it causes so much damage, and that that brief that I sent you. Really, it, it elaborates on what the the pressure, you know, like pressure washing and things like that do. But I could send you more briefs to talk about what paint does to to the historic fabric. You have to, you have to be really careful with with what you the types of just the types of things that you do to these. I mean, I know Laura knows because she's had this type of training as well. It's just it, it, it's it's. And they also tell you to, to check, you know, the your your and I'm probably going to use the wrong terminology, but your your is it your joints and just you know all the all the, the your 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 
your foundations, you know, everything there before you even use water. You know, you don't want anything getting in anywhere. I mean, you have to be so careful. And it's, but sure. with that historic brick, just because it, it's, it was made differently than the newer brick, it, it needs to breathe. And if it doesn't breathe, then you're trapping all that moisture in there. And what will happen, too, with the mortar, it'll start breaking deteriorating like, breaking yeah yes it's it's not good <laughs> and we've seen brick where the water's pulled, filled off the water's behind it the paint builds off and the water goes all the way down to the foundation so it and through the mortar so sure. you know we're just real really hate the word paint. <laughs> if, if the, if, I get it. I get it. If the water it, yeah. gets trapped, it's going to get out somewhere. I mean, it'll force its way out somewhere, and then you'll just start losing chunks here and there. It'll, it, it's going to find it's, it's going to find a way out somewhere, a weak spot, and it'll start crumbling somewhere. And it might not happen today or tomorrow, but eventually you're going to see some problems in your building. Right, right. And so let me just, you know, just clarify, like I said, our intent is to clean it and clean it as much as possible. And just depending on the outcome of that, um, you know, would, would, would make that determination. So is it something uh, that if it did not get clean, did not clean as, as we see fit, that uh, we would have to uh, come back before you to get approved to uh, paint? Or would we have the liberty to go ahead and uh, paint? Laura, can you answer that? I would say that um, if you would like to paint it, you would have to come back because it's not the building hasn't already been painted. Um, if it had painted, you would just be, be repainting it, and you wouldn't need permission for that. But because it hasn't been painted before, you would have to come back and get permission to paint. Okay. Um, Noted. Also, if I may ask a question, um, what is going on with the uh, transom? I don't know, transom windows above Three the awning. Panels. Um, yeah, so, so um, yeah. yeah, so those, you know, at some point, you know, I'm not sure if they were transoms, if they were panels, uh, what what they exactly were. Um, you know, our intent right now on the back side of that, it is not open on the interior of the building at all. It's uh, paneled up. And so our intent is to uh, create, uh, as I've uh, shown in the picture, just, just a uh, some type of panel. Um, you know, with, you know, the grid lines in there uh, to show some detail, uh, not go back in there with a, a transom glass, mm -hmm. but just just an aesthetic uh, panel that would uh, still be pleasing. Mm -hmm. to like the building. Some that, type of decorative wood or metal. That's right. Like that. Okay. Okay. In, in our handbook, hold up your handbook and our preservation handbook. It really encourages us to use awnings that are canvas as opposed to metal. Now, I know we have some downtown. Some of those were before we came on board, but that would be the one thing I would like to see is to use, to soften the building, not make it look so modern and so contemporary to try to have an old and new look. Some of the canvas awnings can be quite contemporary looking, but yeah. that would be something I'm, concerned about is how harsh that would look with the well metal. I think I mean I think you know as you said I think the the building itself has got a, a great historic right. nature within itself so even adding that uh, modern awning yeah it, it does definitely give a little modern touch to it but I think it get, you know is a good blend okay. is our feeling I have a question about the railing are you so you're wanting to um, it would just go across the front of the building? It would, it would go across, uh, I'll show you, right there on that far left picture. Mm -hmm. It would kind of go across that, yeah, that front side. Okay. It would extend out you know, to where that step off is, right, right beyond that step off. Okay. Just to prevent somebody from just walking off right there. Right. right and, here. and would That's you correct. need a handicap entrance to one side or the other, or is there one already? I think there's steps on the far side, aren't there? I think there's step off on the other side too, yeah. And so we would, I mean, yeah, we would, you know, um, do the ADA, whatever the ADA think, you know, requirement you there. I need it right. On one side at least, we'd have to have something. Right. Well, I love this building, so I'm glad to see it getting mm -hmm. some love. It definitely needs some Major love. improvement. Do we have any more questions here? Or? Do I have any questions from the from the floor? 
No? Would either of y'all like to make a motion? Yeah, I move that we accept the proposal as presented. Second. All right. Proposal so accepted. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, I guess we need to vote. vote. All in favor? Aye. Proposal so accepted. Thanks so much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, guys. Thank Appreciate you. it. Have a great night. Major improvement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to look good. All right, let's backtrack. Let's see, next on the agenda. 128. Of 128. Yeah, 128 Third Street. Looks like a fence, a deck, and a shed. All right, this uh, 128 Third Street is in the Monroe and Walton Mills Historic District. They are requesting approval for a shed, a fence, and a deck. Um, as you see here, the picture of the front facade, and that is the shed that they are requesting. I believe from their plan, and you, you might have to correct me, um, that the shed is going to go over here on this side of the house. Correct. And left side, if you're looking at it from the street. Okay, left side as you're looking at it from the street. Um, here is a photo of the rear of the property um, where he is going to be replacing and adding on a, a covered deck and replacing um, one of the fences. I'm not sure if it's this yeah, we're fence. We're going to take the chain link out. We're okay. With a privacy fence, but that chain link doesn't go all the way to the back of the property. Where all right. Laura, 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 give a chance to give her a presentation, and then okay. you can, yeah, <laughs> then they can ask some questions. Thank you. Okay. So, um, yes, but that is all I have. Um, could you introduce yourself to the members? I'm Dan Dyer, and this is my wife, Tammy. Thank you. Well, the house was built in 1994, so and I've had it since 2004, I believe. But the the deck that was on the back of the house um, is 16 by 16. And we're going to replace that deck, same size, and um, there are plans to take it all the way across the back of the house. We want to we want to roof the deck. So what I want what I wanted to do was gable a gabled roof going with the width of the house in the back. Okay. Ma'am, could you speak into the microphone? So oh, we... I'm, I'm sorry. That's okay. And, and part of it, um, 16 by 16, will be screened in. I want to screen in the half of the deck, and then the other half would be, a, it'd be under the roof, but it would be open. 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 And, um, and then the uh, chain link fence he was saying, it doesn't even extend all the way to the back of the property, so it'll be removed, and we wanted to put a privacy fence going the in uh, the entire side with, of the property with the, with the property back side. Okay. Is that this fence back here or well, no? That fence doesn't go. It doesn't go all the way to the back. Okay. About 20, the, Twenty-four foot, I think. The back the side of the line. chain link it doesn't actually extend to the to the full length of the property. Okay. So when we put the privacy fence in, we would like to extend it to the full length of the property if we could. Is there a three in a chain? So the, the is the chain link staying or no 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 removed? it will be it'll be okay. removed no chain link no chain link right and then you're removing this fence in here it, yeah, yes that's right. okay yeah all of that will be open area and then the deck will be built with the gabled roofing over the backside if not if nothing else the entirety of it will be an improvement because I'm so tired of looking at my backyard <laughs> can't stand it so. Nothing but improvements. Can, can she come up and show us on this, what she's got here, what we're talking about? Could you come up and show us right here? Oh, yeah, yeah. What you're talking Because I don't see where you're adding on. Well, it's just, it's, it's the, um, it's the deck that we've and already. What is this? But, well, do you know, I have no idea what this is. I told him I don't even know what these drawings are that they were submitting. Um, what is this, Dan? I have no idea. That's our street. What is that? Yeah, well, the that's, house? The, uh, that's the fence. That's okay. the new fence coming in. I'm, I'm going to need y'all to speak into the microphone. That's the new fence. 
That's your existing fence. It's chain link right here. This is chain link. That's coming out. That's uh -huh. coming out of there. Uh, wait, the house. The house is right here. And where's the uh, the fence come will come into this corner. See he's kinda got it real lightly drawn. Wait, where, where, where is the picture? Where is the deck? Well, the deck is, um, the house is right here, and the deck's gonna be coming out 16 foot this way, and this is the house. Those are horrible pictures. Can I just say that those are horrible pictures? I'm okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know, this isn't at all what, I don't even know That's what, what the these are. are. That's what the got. Okay. <laughs> what about what the contract is? Okay, I need can, we, can, we, can y'all go back to the podium? Okay. <laughs> I can't tell a thing about it. I know sometimes maybe in the in the future maybe we have them come up to the actual drawings that are shown here so everyone in the room can see what they're pointing to, we including the other members of the commission. Do we have the other drawings? Uh, the, everything that well. We have this drawing. I have that drawing. I just didn't include it in the presentation because I thought it was a little ambiguous, so no. I didn't include it in the I mean, presentation. Do we are we going to need are we going to need more information? Do we think for this do we need more drawings? Perhaps, Laura. I mean. Is there any part of the application that you're clear on, like the? I'm not the clear on the roof. On anything? I think, and I, uh, what's going on with that at all? I'm okay. Having some are, struggle. Or the size in comparison to the house. Like okay, so you have questions about the the deck, um, but as of what about the the fence that's replacing the chain link and the shed, as well. Um, the shed or the, I think the shed's very nice. in this chain just, fence. That's great. But I don't understand where this is going because the drawings Ooh, this one. are not clear at all. That's the best one. Best of luck. I think there's a lot of confusion about the roof. I think, and, and the roof and the deck. I think we've got some confusion about that. Right. What's the confusion? I mean, I can get the, the um, you guys going to do the work. I think we need more. more I think maybe we might need more more draw more more I just like, drawings that are a little I bit more I submit clear? just an example of what the finished product would look like, give you an idea of what it would look like. Um, this wouldn't be the house, of course, but these were printouts of how. Yes. There's, it appears to be ridged, so there's no. Okay. On a gable, this is a ridge. This is a this is a fucking ridge. Uh, the gable, that roof is already in place? No, they, that will be built on. Oh, oh. Okay. That roof will be just underneath of the house. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> So the deck currently does not run the full length of the back of the house, and y'all are wanting to run it the full length. Right, right. We want to extend the, the deck okay. outward, and then, but I just want to screen in gotcha. half of it. Right. Yeah. Gable, this is not gable. That's a hip and ridge. So, so you want to gable the end, correct? That's what these photographs are showing, a gabled end, but this drawing shows it ridging and coming down to a slope. But he's not putting yeah. that in anymore. Actually, that's that's why I told him to yeah. take that picture out. Okay, just double, I want to double confirm that, that. I mean, that way you're clear on what that. that was. Yeah, Gable's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry because that's like I said, those were those were the beginning drawings, but we've changed things since then. I'm yeah, because Gable fronts are bad. what you have predominantly in that neighborhood anyway. Exactly. I do think these are these are a little more clear. Does that help? Yes, okay. yeah. dramatically. Yeah. I was just going to throw them away. I wasn't. Hi. I didn't know. Very glad you brought these. Okay. And the fact that you've got a gable for your shed, mm -hmm. they all kind of go together. It'll, it'll all match. Yeah, it'll all Good. Mm -hmm. Very do, we, nice. do we have any more questions up here? No? Do we have any questions from the public? Do we have a motion? Okay, I think we need to include the fact that the new addition, the porch, would have a gable roof, and part of it's going to be uh, enclosed part will be screened, I should say, part open. Mm -hmm. And uh, you want the shed, which again has the gable roof. You're going to remove the uh, chain link fence and do an, like this existing fence here. Right. That kind like of fence, a yes, wooden yes, fence. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, anything else that we've got it all under there? Um, then as, as 
I vocalize that, then I move that we accept it. Laura, did you get that? Mm -hmm. Okay, do I have a second? I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you. Motion passed. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. All right, oh, let me give you back your, your papers. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next on the agenda, I have request for COA 407 each East Church Street. Looks like another fence. I have 109 North Broad Street. Oh, I'm never mind. That. I, I apologize. Uh -huh. I, I must be missing that one. Yeah. It's 109. Oh, I, okay. Wait, I do have that one. I'm sorry. I apologize. I think I added that one in. <laughs> Uh, 109 North Broad Street is in the Monroe Commercial Historic District, and it is currently the um, uh, retail store Rekindle. Um, the store has been there for some a little bit of time, and they are requesting a sign for their building, a hanging sign right here on the front. And this is, uh, in, it, unfortunately, it's a black and white image of what it would look like. Um, I do think. He told me it was going to be have some sort of color on itself. Um, but if there's anybody here to speak on that, you can come to the podium. And it's the green one. This one? Perpendicular. A perpendicular sign. Can you hear me? Absolutely. There? Okay. Never used one of these. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, so the plan is for it. We have those, I don't know, terms. forgive me, but panels. Uh, the one in the middle would go right above that. <laughs> And so, here -ish. yes, and it's perpendicular. And the metal or the black part on the top is metal. It's going to be like a, a black metal finish. And then it's kind of hard to see from this image, but where it says rekindle candle coat, that's going to be a metal plate. And then it's going to be engraved with the rekindle, I think is the word for that, but etched. Something like that, basically. Um, so yeah, currently we just have the window vinyl on there, and we're kind of one of the few buildings that does not have a sign currently. So it's a roughly about four feet by four feet. Okay. Does anyone here have questions? Uh, well, in this picture you've just drawn that. Well, that's all that's going to be seen if I'm looking at it head on, right? Mm -hmm. So the metal bracket. That's the size it's going to be when it's finished. Okay. Right, correct. About four feet by four feet. I don't have a problem with that. Are we okay on code, I guess, size mm -hmm. on that? Yeah. Yes. Laura, do you have questions? I don't. Okay. Does anyone in the public have a question? Do I have a motion? I'll motion that we accept as presented. Okay, do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, motion passed. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate your time. Thank Thanks, y'all. All right, next on the agenda, I have 407 East Church Street. It looks like another fence. 407, yeah. Do I have anyone here for that? 407. East Church Street um, is in the East Church Street Historic District. Uh, these applicants have been before you um, a couple of times recently, I believe most recently for a garage, um, which I think is in this photo here, your new garage. Correct. Um, but today they are here uh, requesting replacement of an existing chain link fence. You can see in the plat here marked in red uh, where the new fence will go. And uh, an example of it here at the bottom of the screen. Um, and if you like, if you could introduce yourself again for the record. Uh, I'm Edward Hoff, my wife, Julie. Can you tell us a little bit about your project? Well, uh, house was built in 1918. We've been working on it for almost 10 years now. Uh, finally moving to get that rid of that ugly chain link fence. Uh, we will be painting it or having it painted white 
uh, to match the trim on the house and the garage. Uh, there will be a gate uh, from the garage side to the house, uh, no gate on the other side. I think it's going to look great. Me too. Yeah. Um, do we have any questions here on the panel? Uh, it's all, it's all of it is chain link, and you're removing everything that's chain link. Will um, there be any left otherwise? Uh, you won't see the chain link. There's chain link on the right side from the street side that goes to the back of the property and across the back, right. and then back up to the garage. Uh -huh. That will remain in place, but it uh, won't be very visible from the street. Mm -hmm. It's gonna look so much Laura, better. Do you have any questions? No, I think it'll look great. I move, I move that we uh, accept the proposed, as proposed for a wooden replacement fence or the chain. No. Before, before, before we make a motion, I do wanna ask the, the public if there are any oh, questions from the public. Okay, having none. They go, go right ahead. I move that we accept the proposal for a wooden fence to replace the chain link in the area indicated by the drawing. Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, motion passed. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. See you next time. All right, next on the agenda, we have it uh, looks like request, request for COA 1250 South Madison Avenue. Looks like demolition. Yes, 1250 South Madison is in the uh, South Madison and Pinnell Road Historic District. Uh, you can see where it is right here. The house is at basically the intersection of Atha and South Madison and Pinnell Roads. Uh, image of the current facade and some uh, images of what the remaining facades on the property look like. And then um, the applicant has submitted a plan for, uh, if you approve his demolition request, uh, what will be built in place. And here's the front facade. And then, oh, a little typo on my slides, I apologize. And um, here are pictures of the other, the rear facade and I think the right hand facade, the right side facade. And then uh, if you could introduce yourself for the yep. record. Uh, my name is Chance Edwards with uh, Nehemiah Construction. We just bought this property a month or so ago. I uh, already met out there with Faye one time. It's been, the house has just been, no maintenance has been done on it. Uh, the house has been condemned by the city. Uh, I know I was here last month and you guys denied a demolition, but I actually do have a plan to make it look similar to what it is there. Uh, it, it'll be a lot nicer. It'll be a brand new house uh, instead of a, you know, a, a rental property. Very, you know, however you want to call it. But, uh, I mean, it'll be a great addition to the street, you know, because as you drive up and down the street, there's at least five other properties that are currently being renovated. And I'm not one to tear stuff down, but unfortunately the foundation of this property if I could just lift the house up and suspend it in the air and fix the foundation and set it back down, that'd be one thing. Unfortunately, that's really not feasible for this house because it would just collapse. The inside, there's no flooring on the inside, no subfloor. They've taken it all out. Um, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Pepto pink. Can you go back to the other pictures? Sure. <clears throat> this one or this one? This one? Or these? There will be a front porch on that new design. Yeah. So it's a, so Brad can attest, it's a non-conforming lot, so we're gonna have to stay within the boundaries of what's there. Uh, so it'll be the same footprint as what's there, but it'll all be brand new footers and brand new foundation and everything. And I am not one to dem de do demolition either. But I did go out and looked, and you could definitely see where the foundation was crumbling. And there is no flooring and whatnot in that. Mm -hmm. uh, before the one across the street that we didn't want to lose, it was very important architecturally. And this house, 
even though it is important architecturally, I think the fact that he's willing to try to put something back that goes with, blends with the neighborhood rather Absolutely. than giving us green space with no plans mm -hmm. is a plus. But that's just my thought on, on what he's got going. Um, in, in the, well, I'll wait till we vote. Plus well, it'll generate a lot more tax revenue for the city right. with uh, property taxes. I, I would help. like to see the windows six over six because that's what I think is there now. That's it's fine. Just small. I mean, small, yeah. small change. But and I'll definitely use the uh, what is it? The uh, hold on. I'll definitely use the uh, Monroe Preservation Primer as my guidebook to build this property back. Right. right. Couldn't remember all the technical terms. <laughs> Laura, did you have a question? And I, I saw this email, so I may, it may answer my question. Like, I know you had provided um, an estimate to remodel, like two hundred fifty thousand. That was to build a new new structure. This this house is beyond repair for remodeling. Do we have any more questions? I have a question, if I may. Yes. Um, it looks like on your plans that the uh, the porch will be about mm, 32 or so inches off the ground. Mm -hmm. Are you planning on doing a railing? Uh, I don't want to do a rail uh, unless unless code requires, which is 30 inches. Right. So would you, I, I guess, lower the foundation so you don't have to do a rail? I, I would try to keep the the, uh, the porch height at the at 30 inches so I wouldn't have to do a railing. Okay. I tell you what, this makes me nervous because we don't, you know, you know, we don't want to lose our historic districts. Just the, just the premise of demolitions. I think you have to answer your quote self a question though: Is this going to continue to contribute to your district, right? Is That's true. Right? Is it, or is it just going to continue? Is it going to deteriorate and not contribute to the district? And that is one of the questions that we ask. I mean, if it doesn't get torn down, I've got to do something with it. That's the only true. other option is a low-income rental house, which is. That's true. Well, and I, I mean, I appreciate the fact that you're trying to put it back like it is, too. Mm -hmm. like right. More modern and better, but still, it's uh, it's in keeping. And if it, it, it the plans, if, if they, if they, it, it, you know, can, if they add, are in the wrong, the same character of the district, right. you know, I think that's the question, too, if they stay in character with the district. I, would, I mean, in this case, if I don't, if may I have, offer an opinion, I mean, you mentioned six over six windows, which is what that existing structure has now, and maybe fattening up those posts in the front a little bit, yeah, kind of match what's there now. Yeah. And that way, that, that way you're getting almost an, a one for one type of replacement for this structure. And the railing that's on there obviously is not original to the house. No, no. It is. Nothing you know. on this house is original to the house. Even right. Faye yeah, looked I've at all the there. windows and yeah. doors and. Yeah, so there's I mean, nothing original on this property. It looks like a six for six window, maybe fattening up those porch posts. May yeah, get I would a, agree an with equal that. Equal kind of trade off here for because it is replacing, not you know this this could technically be well, contributing. And, and when you replace, you would lose your tax credits, or don't you? I think in the city you have tax credits if it's the old original house, correct? I think. But if yeah, it's I don't a know only replacement house, I just didn't want you to think you were, because I don't think you do have credits when it's correct. Not for replacement. No. Not for a replacement. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I had an, another question. I was just curious about um, why you decided to keep the notch in the back instead of squaring it off. Also I think that would be a question that Brad would have to answer because that's the way the foundation currently sits. If you'll go back to one of the older one of the existing photos of the current house, you'll see how it's offset like that. Right. See the back right there? That's just the way it is. I mean, I would love to just square that off and make it, you know, make I'm, it look better. I don't, if you, if you could, well, I think my issue was, is that if you're going to replace, I think your encroachment against uh, Panel Road would be the distance, right? So if you have the notches are in line with that, 
I don't think you're creating a new encroachment if you're in line with that. So if you fill in those notches out and kind of square off the back, right? I don't see a. I don't have a plat of your property, so I don't. We don't have. Is there not a plat in this? So no adding a back deck ever. Oh, so, I know it's no, a really there's no, no. lot. That's, that's pretty much it right there. Okay. I think. I think. I mean, let me look at the. Let me look at it more. Let's say, uh, that's the. I mean, it's yeah. it's square. The uh, back the side of the house is very close to the property adjacent to it. I think just in, in all fairness, though, because it's an existing structural lot, I'm not in any way suggesting this go in front of council for a variance because there's an existing structure on a, you know, an odd-shaped lot. Clearly, the lot itself probably meets none of the requirements of whatever district it's under. But if he's able to go to the edge of the current distance of that structure now, then I don't see an issue with that, that those ends being filled in. It's kind of square. Okay. It's probably better for you, though, to square Yeah, it, it would off. definitely be better. It would be better for the house. Instead of having yeah, an angle, a notch, and then coming, because you're, yeah. you're trying to simulate the Probably exact. That where the steps are there to square uh -huh. that. Yes. Yeah. Just, just so you can still have the steps coming out away from the house. If you square it all and block it off, I don't see an issue with yeah. the steps being where this portion almost in line with the porch steps yeah. at that point, I would think. The front porch steps, they're almost yeah. in the same line. Okay. Yeah, I don't see an issue with that. I, I think it, I think if you, to, to to this commission's credit, if they want to try to create a contributing looking structure, I think the notches, the the, the notches do a great job of simulating the old addition, right? Right. Yeah. What you were trying to do is just trying to match that exact thing. I think there's not an issue for me for the planning department if you no. square the back of that off. It will look tremendously mm -hmm. better, and probably be easier on the the foundation construction yeah. instead of having angles and then recessing. Do we have any more questions here on the panel? Um, if I could offer one other comment. Um, I also think that if you squared off the back end, it would help tell the difference and not cause confusion. If someone thinking, yes, this is an old house, um, it'd be easier, one way easier to say that, yes, this is a replacement structure. I would second that. I would agree with that. To not square them off? To, to, to square, them, square okay. them off. Yeah, to square them off. It would show the difference. Mm -hmm. Do we have any more questions here? Do I have any questions from the from the forum out here? He has a question. Uh, He's asking about square footage, Faye. About fifteen to eighteen hundred. Yeah, no floor. <laughs> the most valuable thing in there is the lumber that they were going to fix the floor with. <laughs> Do I have any more questions? Do I have a motion? Um, maybe we need to word this. Look, I, I can't word it based on the fact that he's going to replace it, can I? Uh, you can say that you you can make a motion. Um, to approve as presented. As presented, that's um, good. In that way, we know that we presented. The, okay. Well, no, you Please. need to you need to clarify on the presented. Uh, the, what's presented is that you're uh, you're allowing modification as presented. So, uh, beefing up the spindles in the front, the posts in the front, right? That's I don't I don't have a dimension in mind. Yeah. You have yeah. any you have any idea what those the posts 10 are? Ten by ten is what I would put there. Okay. Something larger. That I think those are four by four. Those are those are six those are six. like a six by six. What he's got drawn on the current plan there, but if you yeah, go I, back to the to the existing structure, you know you have any idea what those are? Uh, they just look beefy. That looks like a six by six or eight by eight. Okay. Yeah, it's I, not a four by four. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I would maybe maybe best to. I mean, when you go when you do this, maybe get a measurement and just replace them. With a similar appearance, and maybe okay. that's why they can word this. Okay. So if it's so that way, we're not saying six by six tonight. You get out there and they're eight by eight, and we're like, what are we doing? You know. right. Something of a similar appearance to what's similar there. appearance in the front porch posts, and then he can square the back off evenly with the footprint of the house, if that wording helps at all for everybody. And then and then the windows, and the windows. Six, yes. Yeah. That would say. But you're, remember, you're approving the demolition first. So the demol you're approving the demolition and the replacement. Okay, so we should vote twi two times. I don't, I don't think, think that's so. necessary, but you gotta gotta allow okay. the demolition first. Okay, I move that we accept the presentation with the changes 
uh, presentation for demolition with the changes to the current uh, proposal for the re reconstruction of the house on the current foundation with the allowance to square up the back corner, beef up the uh, columns, and to at windows should be six over six. Do I have a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion unanimously carries and is passed. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Welcome to the historic district. <laughs> All right, let's see. Next on the agenda. The next item is at 207 North Madison Street, which is in the North Broad Street Historic District. And the applicant is requesting a fence and a shed. Um, here you have a picture of the front facade of the, of the residence. And that is the shed that they are requesting. Um, minus some windows. I believe you said there wouldn't be so many windows on it. And then uh, here is an example of the fence that they would like and where along the, um, the property the fence would go. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have a good aerial image of where on here. I think it's in this area of, of it's your- It's actually on the- Is it on this side? Other side. So we're, is this a laser pointer too as well or? It is, yes. To be the center that center button. Yes. So this is the property here. So there, the fence across the front will just go over to from the corner of the deck to the existing fence that is the neighbors, and then it will follow the concrete here and then straight over. So it won't turn back and go. It'll just be pretty much in line. Sorry, my hands move too much. So it'll be straight in line. I didn't understand where the shed is going. It, this is the front right. of the house. Yeah, this is, yeah. And, and where is the so front here? So this is the front. Okay, here. okay, and now. So the fence uh -huh. will go from this corner over to the existing fence that is the neighbor. Okay. This is the, and then the fence will also go along here as well and then straight up. Okay. The property line is. Right, we'll be, okay. We will have, you know. A walk space. Uh, yeah, it's five, it'll be five feet off the, the fence will be five feet off of the property line, and the shed will be right there in the center. That's the line that goes yeah. from the fence to the shed. Okay, which way is the shed facing? So, We're going to be seeing the side, maybe, okay. okay. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm for Spain. We just moved to the area three months ago. Um, love it. We just have two dogs. One's 160 pounds. One's 30 pounds, the fence is actually for the 30 pound dog. <laughs> <laughs> the 160 pound dog is quite easy to deal with, but the 30 pounders, um, if you're ever out at, if you ever see 160 pound dog, it's ours. <laughs> I, I think we're the only one in the neighborhood that has one that size. I'm reading about your, uh, it says that it will only have three windows at the top of the building. Yes. So if you look at natural. if you look at that picture, it's the three that you've got built there. I mean, yes, so it'll be just you know those three across the top for natural lighting, and then a door, you know, the door in the front. And I can I could put more windows in there if it was required or requested, mm -hmm. but I just I had this in mind, and that was you know a Google image of a. Mm -hmm. Of a shed roof, shed. Go back to a picture of his house. Will the fence be taller? 
the no, you'll see the roof line you'll see bit. the roof line so the fence will be six feet at the back of the property and just 54 at the front because 54 is the level of the deck flooring so it'll go straight across that okay. instead of sticking above the deck it kind of repeats the shed roof in the front of your house exactly mm -hmm. i think so it i mean i don't get the gable at the side of your yep. house but it does kind of repeat the yeah. shed roof at the front of your house so it it is compatible i mm -hmm. think with right. with your house so yeah i mean this is as far as i know this is our last house mm -hmm. Is what? Our last house. Oh. <coughs> None of these items are permanent items either. They're no, and they're enough. not permanent, but you do want it to yeah. kind of look like it goes I think they, they all look, they all, yeah. they all look okay. Right. But I, I think it looks good. Any questions? Do I have any, do I have any comments from, or questions from the, from the audience out here? Okay, do I? Uh, I've got a, uh, a question. I'm going to point to that on the screen. I'm just pulled your plat up. So this is a joint driveway easement, and your 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 fence is going to honor that easement because the easement goes all the way to the end of the property. Is that yes? So, uh, so you're just going to run that outside of that easement. Is that what you're saying? Well, not that it matters because this this body is not responsible for enforcing easements or anything of that nature. I just I be I would caution you not to put it in your in your driveway easement for whatever reason. There could be utilities or other items in that that easement. Yeah, you're probably okay because it looks like it's only a 12 foot. It's a very unusual easement the way it's platted. It's 12 foot wide, so just six foot from the soft center of each side of the, is the easement itself. So you're probably actually don't have enough easement to cover your access into your own property. Not everything should be fine. I just want to make sure there wasn't you weren't we weren't uh, approving something that would encroach on an easement and put you in some type of jeopardy. I just want to double check that was the case. It says it's 12 feet wide at the center of your property line, six feet on each side of the property line. It's not a very big driveway easement. But just enough to give you access to your property, basically, is what it does. Yeah, that's. I just want to double check that. I'm, I'm glad I'm able to pull that up quickly. Well, thank you. It shouldn't be a problem. Okay, good. Good to know. Do you have any questions, more questions? I had one other thought. Uh, on this fence you're adding, will it have a gate? Yes, it will have a gate. At the front of the property and the rear. At the rear. So. So there will be a gate here on this side, right there in the middle, uh -huh. and then there will be. A gate oh, right there. there. Okay. Okay. Also, okay. 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 And do we have a picture of the fence? Uh, yes. Oh yeah, it's going to be the horizontal. Slats to match the neighbors. Correct. Mm -hmm. So one of the alternatives. Do what? Do what? Do what? Somebody had said that mm -hmm. someone on the panel. Our next door neighbor is calling. Mm -hmm. Is it you? Mm -mm. Oh. Um. I I do have one question. Um. If everything is approved, historic. Mm -hmm. how long do I have before it has to be completed or anything like that? Because I know months. the shed has to be permitted, correct? It does. 18 right. months. I'm okay. Yeah. Me. All right. That's fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't know if it was. Not a very historic yeah. fence. Can we not have him do something that's more it's, historic? It's not. It, it's non-contributing. Correct. It's a non-contributing structure. No, it's not. Is there, a fence in the, <coughs> is there a fence in the other house? It doesn't have to be historic because it's not contributing. But does it contribute? Wouldn't couldn't he have something else that's vertical, that's more contributing? That looks more in line with the house. I mean, so if, I, if I could offer something about the house, you know, you have the horizontal slats that are under your your crawl space areas. It doesn't terribly. There's not a mismatch there. I'm not trying to. And there's already a horizontal fence. Yeah, you got yeah, so yeah. this. Place. There's already horizontal slats in the. Yes, uh, this fence is our neighbor's fence, just to the behind. That's the, yeah. This is literally on the lot that's behind this. That's built as part of the four houses that are there. All right. So right. we don't we don't have to have the same kind of fencing. Uh, in fact, in this case, it may help to match that fencing, <laughs> if that's what you're proposing, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> 
I think the reason I have a concern about that is on Walton Street, how those three houses all have the same fencing, and you can't tell which house goes to which property. Are we going to have a problem with that? No, no, because there's nothing adjoining. They don't join? It, no, it's not adjoining, so they're back-to-back. -back. So if you oh, go okay. back to the... Okay. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> It's that one we're seeing here. Right here, the old thing in here. Right here. That one. That fence is not stopped because it's not stopped. So I'll just want to approve that fence. So we'll have this green space because there's a um, utility fence on it here. Mm -hmm. So they'll have to access. So that will be open. And the neighbors and I both work towards the utility fence. So I'll just well, what about that line across there? Who's, wh is that a fence? That's just a property line on the map to show a vague. What? It's just a property line on the map. Yeah, that's just. Yellow. Those are lot lines. No, no, I'm talking about up at the top on the other side oh, of your house. Is that a fence? That's a fence on the adjacent property. Right. Yes, that's on the adjacent property. That's is that the one you're matching? No. This is the one we're matching. I just don't get why you wouldn't be matching the neighbors. Why it's your fence. Why don't you do it like you want to do it? Well, I, I mean, I like that fence. And oh, well, then so. that's... <laughs> I thought you were trying to match it because it was your neighbor's, but... Well, I think it also kind of pulls it off. I mean, it also... Whatever my wife wants. <laughs> uh, do I have a motion? I mean... I'll make a motion to approve as presented. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Jay, can I get you to vocalize your motion? Yes. Didn't I? Yes. Okay. The motion unanimously approved. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming Thank in. You. Is there anything else I have to do or I, I know I have to submit yeah. plans once we start the shed, but the fence doesn't need permitting or... Right, you just have to submit a permit for the shed. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. I think the one we had now is revisit. Yes. Okay, let's see. We had we're gonna go we're gonna go back to old business now. Or old new old business. <laughs> so let's see. Let me cut, bring back up. We've got um, 130 South Broad Street exterior changes. Do I need to reintroduce myself? Or? If, if you don't mind, please. Sure. My name is Jessica Head, and I'm here on behalf of Gilbert Lucero, and um, I'll be his general manager at Sweetberry. Um, so on my phone call with him, what he wants to do is replicate the window that is already there, but it's going to be framed out of wood, um, and it's going to be the same color as the building, the iron ore color, um, and it's going to be tempered glass that's 3 8 inches um, that is supposed to meet to code. Um, so that's basically what it's going to be. Do I where the white is will be the same color as the building. Correct, yes. So it's going to be, it was aluminum, and now he's going to do it, frame it in wood and paint it the same color as the building. Okay. Pay, do you have any questions? Yeah. That, that, was, that was great. Thank you for <laughs> You're welcome, us. yeah. <laughs> sure you don't want to wait 30 days for us to give you an answer on I'm that? sure, yes. <laughs> I definitely answered well, it makes question. a big difference if it's metal or if it's wood. Mm -hmm. you know? Right. Do you... Do I have any questions from the public? Oh. Did y'all have any more questions? Faye, did you want to say something else? Okay. Do I have a motion? I move that we accept the presentation with the transom being wood and um, all the other, the, that's all we were doing was the transom, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We approved yep. everything else. Yeah. Okay. Do I have a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes. Motion unanimously approved. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Next on the agenda. Let me pull it up here. I'm scrolling all the way down. Bear with me. What? We <laughs> It'll be adjournment. Yeah, we do. We have adjournment. All right. Do I have a motion to adjourn? 
I move we adjourn. Do I have a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Yes. All right, motion unanimously approved. This concludes the HPC meeting of June 27th, 2023. We are adjourned.